The verbal irony is where what is meant is the opposite of what is said, while sarcasm adds that little punch of attitude. Now go out there and find those examples of verbal irony and sarcasm. He goes out everywhere, admitting. What's he running from? What's he doing? I did not say that. What's up, everybody? It's Ted, and we got Steve here. We got Kay. And today we are going to show. No! Oh, oh, come on! Let's go take a tour. No, and no, I'm not talking about. Like we're we're going to give everyone a lesson in shop organization. This isn't the shop oh, tour. I wanted. I wanted to do the husky tour. There's the lighting jobs. Come on. Go in the lighting section, guys. Don't do this. I said to my lighting guy, I said, "Here, dude, start organizing lighting however you want to do it." And his answer is. Oh. No, oh, come on, there's no lighting job. What are you talking about? That's not even me. Gobos, it's a place for gobos. That's Steve's <laughs> organization. Not what I did. Come on, can we really do a shop tour? Why is it Mission Impossible with you guys? A tour of what? All right, well, right over here. We got we got these quad boxes, and they're metal, so that if there's a ground issue, you're going to get shocked as <laughs> Here we go. This is the No Rhyme or Reason AC section. <laughs> what you need might be underneath that pile over there, three cables down. Hey, you're making us look bad. No, it's really organized, people. It is. <laughs> These are great. If you need cables, if you ever need them on a job where everything has to be yellow, all you have to do is take the f***ing e-tape, ooh, sorry, take the e-tape off and then you got a nice yellow cable. <laughs> this doesn't stand out at all. Let's be serious, folks. I'm starting And then you get the phone call and in the background you hear Can you bring those tri- Dude, I need the tri taps dude. There's a fourth guitar player who's gotta play those random notes that aren't in the song because he's so f***ed up because he hit his head while he was skateboarding. You need the tri taps Okay, let's start over here. Why am I allowing you to do this? This is clear color. This is clear color. Dude, we've done the Oscars. We've done... The MTV Movie Awards. Look at all the shit Nobody we have. Show them, Steve. These, these are a fucking bargain right there, man. These are a bargain. Clearcom, Cellcom hey, how, 10. How much you want for those? I got a, here you go. I'll take one. <laughs> Check these out, folks. Look at me. Yep. You know what that drawer's worth right there? In all seriousness, we have enough to do the Oscars. Look at this shit. Where is it? Where's the uh, high school ones? Where's the ones from uh, Joe Blow High School? Can you read? Can you read? These are fucking dirt cheap. Copyright 1980. These are dirt cheap. All right, Celine's taking the stage now. <laughs> <laughs> but that's our clear comp section. We got the headsets. Yep, the coronavirus headsets. And your total's gonna come out to 887, first window. <laughs> we haven't used these all year. I miss seen. Oh. We used to hate them. This is where we keep just, these are the work boxes. They're empty. We do them a la carte. Yeah, just like the shelves are a la carte. Again, random, just randomly thrown shit up there. Oh, hey, I love my bench in uh, FM transmitting antenna. <laughs> <laughs> is this that thing from Ghostbusters that Egon uses? Yeah, this ain't broken. Can we get serious? Come on, guys. Asshole detector. Now, <laughs> <laughs> what'd he say? Asshole detector. I said asshole detector. <laughs> <laughs> guys that are supposed to organize the shop oh better hang on to this yeah might better hang on to this we might actually melt the fucking plastic down okay but you know one day there's going to be a broken speaker and you're going to be like all right i need a tuna melt i need that broken speaker and i can fuse the two using atoms and make a new wheel out of it no but all seriousness my favorite section look at them what are these Kay? Really crappy frequencies. We have Remember the RCFJ8s, dude. We have white, black. These go everywhere in the city. Corporate gigs, they are incredible. I swear by them. Used to go everywhere in the city. This makes a really good doorstop right here. <laughs> During coronavirus, right here is a really nice white doorstop. It's good for a museum. Currently, this will make a really good boat anchor. <laughs> you know, you can throw it overboard of your dinghy and it'll keep you in one spot. Dude, we suck at shop tours, man. Wow. Um, more amp racks. Empty cases, folks. There's our NLA. There they are, Steve. Our favorites, the SRXZ. We got 12 of these. My favorite, Succo. Oh, jeez. Heavy as sin. 
like this. This is my favorite shit in the shop. I look at something like this and I just think to myself, $500 mistake. <laughs> Literally, that's what this is. A $500 mistake. They're out somewhere, but we have the QSEK 10s. These come in handy with the subs. They're good for DJs. They're good for wedges at times. And then, Steve, what is this? When do we ever use this? Yeah. Yeah. This? Yeah. County Fair, we put a couple light trees up. This is like, this is like, hey man, can you do me a favor? I know I gave you that job worth thirty thousand dollars, but I need you to do a four hundred dollars show in a VFW for my friends. Yeah, that's right. they, they it's like they really, do the job. dude. I gotta do that. They do the job. They do the job. That ain't gonna fall and hit you in the head or nothing. What if I put those up? Me, you know, I did that. Someone's I did gonna that. bump into this. Ah, I did that. I think it looked cool. What? Yeah, and it's completely. It's like candy canes. <laughs> Steve, what were these used for? You name it. Yeah, they're nice though. They're good. One part. Used for Rocky Street Lights. <laughs> 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 you know who uses those a lot? Freebie uh, Lighting. Freebie Lighting Incorporated. Okay, Distro World. Tell them what distros we have. They're incredible. You name it, we got him. This one's called Sparky. <laughs> that one's called Artful. <laughs> <laughs> what can we power down these mad boys, dude? Full systems. 250 amps worth of whatever. It, this is our uh, rigging world. Yeah, rigging candy. Huh? What do you mean? Rigging candy. You know, like every time it goes to a job, someone takes a bite, someone has a, grabs a handful, it don't come back. <laughs> oh, How many come times do you can buy more shackles? Like, doesn't even matter that you paint them. Whoever takes them home by accident it just repaints them their color. Yeah, where's all the gack? It's all MC. You know, the last, the last big job I did, all my friggin' uh, deck chain's gone. Look up at your favorite venue. I guarantee you you'll see a case sound shackle. Backline, folks. We don't have much, but we have a couple drum sets. Garbage. <laughs> we have a couple drum sets, a couple amps. The Timmy Tongas, whatever those are. Uh, this is in case. This is in case we ever want to start a band called the Stink Bugs. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we use this backline. Now, Kay, this is impressive. This will impress people. Motor World. Tell them all the motors we got, dude. Incredible. This one's called Slippy. <laughs> uh, he's joking around, folks. We've got... Mm. This one's called Breakless. <laughs> <laughs> no, we get these serviced by professionals every year. Super Brickle. I get them serviced stick. every uh, two years or whatever. But we, got, we got quarter tons. We got half tons. We got them all. Dude, we got full tons. We got triple tons. The whole thing. What is this voice you're doing? I'm trying to be serious. This is my serious voice. I know who you're trying to be. Who? Yeah, we got three or four motors over here. I know you're trying to be. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Grooney when you need him? Look at the seesaws. This here is a paperweight. <laughs> this one here is good for furniture. If you want to make like a TV stand out of it, you could put the big 80 inch right on the big 80 inch right on there. And you can even roll it around. Yeah. You know? So we got the Digico SD5. The Digico SD10. And how much money I made with the f***ing SD5 last year, man? What? Uh, zero point zero. <laughs> well, look at this, dude. What is this? This is Grooney's favorite. The only problem with this thing is a shitty case. <laughs> Listen, here's the good thing about K-Sound. If you ever hire K-Sound for a job, and I just so happened to put Arno on the job, it's kind of like a two-for-one deal. You get Arno, and you also get a Circle 3 rep at your disposal to answer any questions that you may or may not want answered <laughs> about Circle 3 design cases. He'll see like your keys dangling, and he'll be like, hey, you know, it's Circle 3, we make a case for that. This right here is a workhorse, dude. You know that? You know how many times this console's failed me on a gig? Never, never failed me on a gig. You know why? Because it's the fucking shit. Because you don't fix it if it ain't broken. And look who he is. My favorite console, Steve. It's my favorite. There he is. This fucking thing. You know That's my that? favorite. You know what kind of headache this thing is right here? He's the wing. It's the wing, the wing. I love him. The most. We got to start making more videos about him. Wing equals views. Wing equals views. Wing equals views. Look at it. So this right here, you take that one. I'll take this one. This is a fun game that you can play with your kids. What you can do with these here is you can get a running. Good job. You can get a running start. <laughs> All of this stuff is worthless. That's my point. No, it's not. Okay. Next, this is the it's year. Useless. It's this is the worthless. year of the comeback. You know what'll happen? Every manufacturer is going to be slick. And it's going to be like all their new shit's going to come out, make everything that you just sat on for a year making zero dollars obsolete. You are obsolete. You know what this whole pandemic was? Plenty of time for every asshole to make a new f show file. Oh, I already have my show file. I can't load it into an SD5. You have to get me the new quantum. 
Yeah, your favorite. CL5, CL5 motherfuckers. Her oh. name is Rio and she dances on the sand. This here's a brand new uh, 2021 Honda Accord. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right there's a new Toyota Camry. <laughs> Uh oh, the wedges. Okay, our favorite wedges, the M22s. Wow. Where'd these go? The Jamaica, Aruba. Aruba. Yeah, we left the flight. Yeah. We got to leave these on there so we look cool. Bahama. This way, when we roll up, the guys are like, yo, they've been around the world. Okay, right behind you is our amazing speaker collection. Look, the B18s. Look. I haven't heard of them. <laughs> <laughs> are these any good? What is that? We've got the B18s, the A8s. How many A8s do we have, Steve? 24. You know what I call this little part here? This right. is called the stagehand handle. <laughs> you know, this is how they grab them and they pull them out of the truck. Like that. Then the A12s, look at these bad boys, I can't wait. And we also have V25s, they're at the other shop in, home, in North Jersey. The other shop, we've got a ton of V25s and S28 subs, everybody. Steve's favorite. Ooh. How many sandbags are in there? I hurt my knee. The video that got away is right here. The video that got away. <laughs> All right. Steve. I'm gonna call Smokey Bear. <laughs> we have a ton of these. These are workhorses. I love you. I love you. What was that that just popped off the top? Was it dust or ash? <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, Steve, you're standing right in front of me. The video, well, he's the MVP. He's been the MVP during last year. He was the MVP. He goes out everywhere. Admitting. This here is a broken panel. He's going <clears> to <throat> do something to it. Yep, he, it's oh, coming. He's going to do something to it. I can't watch. This here is, is a video wall panel, and this right. here is called the Ted Thorne Special. <laughs> of all the spots in the shop, this one right here I call the pit. What? Because this is basically a pit that I just and come and throw money into and get nothing out in return. That's my spot. I love you. Like I like the chair that you use, by the way. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's take a look at Ted Thorne's computer here in my good studio monitors. I use him. I got, I got a total piece of shit Elise's one sitting over there, but no, he takes the good ones. Let's look at the history. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, you're going to have to blur everything out. Let's just start with the full history here. Yeah, I can't put some of that stuff. Tour, how to film in 360 mode, how to edit GoPro Max, how to use GoPro Max. This is what I'm paying for. Dude, I, I can't, go, you oh, can't show There we go, you division can't. of <laughs> <laughs> Right, channel customization, manage your channel branding. All of this looks like so much <laughs> helpful to K-Sound's business. Sound shop vlogs, let's watch our own channel. Oh, he was actually in Rent Man. Let's see how long he actually, Oh my God, on Tuesday, January 19th, at exactly 10.26 a.m. all the way to 10.28 a.m., Ted actually did something. Ah, oh, that's, that's enough, that's enough. Got two right. minutes of good. work out of you. That's that enough, that's enough. That's enough. I think we're done. I mean, eventually I'll do, we'll do a Husky, we'll do, a, everyone will do a real, real tour one day. And then, and here we go. These what? are some worthwhile notes let me tell you ssv ideas husky drawers video once a month live k shows trucks ted how i schedule <laughs> yeah yeah i thought i just showed them how you schedule 10 26 a.m to 10 28 a.m clocked in clocked out you know what this book represents your brain the first page has got a couple little dinker ideas and then after that all blank all right we're done here ah uh -huh.
we had an install where they put in an electrical service and I had to get a rack mounted distro and I thought it would be smart to be able to like disconnect the rack and pull the entire rack out to get behind it and it turns out that uh, having this thing mounted on the distro didn't give it enough room to make it into the fucking closet that they built so I had to hardwire the cable from the bottom and that's New Hampshire and eat it New Hampshire I miss like it five, at least $500 or whatever the hell this thing was <laughs>